Hey guys, today we're going to be drawing a watercolor butterfly using Procreate's Symmetry Assist. I'm using the iPad Pro with the Procreate app. Now you don't need this to follow along. You can use a white sheet of paper, a black marker for outlines, and markers and crayons for coloring in. I occasionally may use a pencil to sketch first, so it's always handy to have that as well as an eraser. If you're new to Procreate, I also have a video called 25 Procreate Tips and Tricks which is good to watch first because as I draw, I'll be using these actions. I will link that video below. So I have my canvas open and what I'm gonna do first is turn on the drawing guide. So let's go to our tools, canvas, and then hit drawing guide. You can hit edit drawing guide if your settings aren't already there. So make sure that you are under symmetry and that your options are vertical and then hit done. And then we're gonna start with the first layer. So let me just rename that. And then we're gonna make sure that the other two layers also have the assist on. So all we gotta do is just click it, hit draw assist and then click that one, draw assist. So just make sure that they're all on. And then we can begin by sketching our butterfly. So I'm just gonna grab a sketch brush and then we can begin. So whatever I do on the left is gonna mimic on the right. So we're really only drawing half of a butterfly. I actually find it easier to draw on the right side, so that's what I'm gonna do. And butterflies come in so many different shapes, so there's really no right or wrong answer when you're drawing this. All right, so there we have our outline in our sketch layer. Next, we're gonna go into our color layer. So next, I'm gonna pick a watercolor brush, and I bought these ones online, I'll link that below. However, you can also find some free ones online. And I already have a color palette for the butterfly, so you can go ahead and create your own color palette if you want, uh, using your favorite colors. So with this brush, if I put more pressure on it, it'll just kind of, it almost works like real water. If I let go and just place it again, it's just gonna create a more darker shade. And it also has a wash brush, which is a blending brush. So you can lightly blend the two colors together. And then we're gonna have to erase all these edges later. We can't really control where the color stops with this brush. And because I'm putting so many colors on, I'm just gonna create a new layer underneath that one. Just make sure that the draw assist is on again. Cause I don't want it to really blend into the other colors. Again, you can experiment. So I'm just going to grab my eraser and, and just start erasing some of this color. All 
All right, so I'm gonna create a new layer again, just to do this section here. Make sure that the draw assist is on. And just with each section, I'm really just doing like colors. Um, just making sure that dark is always near the center of the butterfly. All right, and then we can continue with the lower half of the butterfly. And then for the body, again, a new layer. I'm just gonna pick a dark color. So let's take off the sketch and see how that looks without the sketch. That looks pretty cool. All right, so now I'm just gonna merge all of the colored layers. But what I want to do is just put an outline on this. So I'm going to go to my outline. I'm going to select a round brush and I'm just going to trace over the sketch. And then something else we can do is just add some glitter. I'm gonna click on the layer again and just make sure the alpha lock is on. And what alpha lock does is that it isolates the color. So if you wanna draw more color, it's gonna only color within what you've already done and not outside. I do have a glitter brush. All right guys, there is your butterfly using Procreate Symmetry Assist. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. To get notified of more new videos where I teach you to draw, be sure to subscribe to Draw with Marina.